and the CEO and co-founder of SlideRocket.com. Uh, up until now, you really always had a compromise when using online software. Either you had a, a lack of features or a, an awkward GUI to struggle through, or you were really out of luck if you wanted to work offline. SlideRocket is presentation uh, software without compromise. It's a rich internet application written in Adobe's Flex and uh, Air that really provides for every part of the presentation lifecycle, not just offering. When we looked at presentations, we realized there was this entire ecosystem of people, services, and resources that was used for creating presentations, and we wanted to really tap into that. SlideRocket is a hosted software as a service that allows you to build stunning looking presentations, manage them intelligently, share them securely, and then measure the results. And underneath this all, it acts as a hub of an online marketplace um, that gives you a community of resources and services that can be traded and shared and sold. Now, I'm actually going to build out the rest of my presentation in SlideRocket so I can show you kind of how it works. Jump into uh, SlideRocket here. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a slide that uh, had our pricing information. SlideRocket is software as a service. I'm going to add a table to my slide here. Now, I could just type the data right into the slide, but I've actually got it in a Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to jump over to Google here. And I can actually bind the data from the Google spreadsheet to my table in SlideRocket. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. And boom, it drops in. And now I'm bound to that Google spreadsheet just because I want to be sexy. And I drop a little reflection plug in there. And now I've got a really cool table chart. Um, one of the other things I wanted to do was I wanted to make a, uh, a slide that had an uh, inspirational quote. So SlideRocket has plugin architecture, just like you find in Photoshop or Facebook. Third parties can write plugins for the tool. I've got a quote plugin here. I'm going to search for a quote on and let's see what we find. Here's a cool one from Thomas Edison, drop in a nice formatted quote. But a picture would really make this, so I'm going to go to my picture library. I know I don't have a picture in my own library, so I want to search on Flickr. I'm going to go over here and search for a white pole. Let's see what comes up. Give it a second. Here's a little light bulb picture, we'll drop that in, send it to the back, and we've got a cool inspiration slide. Uh, I want to do a slide on our go-to-market strategy. I know that my marketing guy has built this slide for me. So rather than create it, I'm just going to go to the library here and search for marketing. And there's our marketing slide. I'll just drag that guy right in. Close the library. So now we've got a marketing slide. Slide Rocket has a bunch of different ways of going to market. We've got a direct sales force. We're selling to larger customers through that. Uh, we're using design resellers to help us uh, you know, get out there and value added resellers. Uh, We've got a viral distribution. Every presentation that somebody creates, shares with somebody, embeds, does a remote meeting with, you know, results in customers coming back to us. We also realized as we we're building this really cool, we could integrate with existing businesses. So we built this really great integration with Salesforce.com. I'm going to show you that right now. So we'll jump over to Salesforce. So I've got this contact John Smith, and I'm going to send John Smith a, a, a custom presentation. He's a customer of ours. He's interested in some products that we've got in our Salesforce database. So I'm going to go here right here and click Send Presentation. And right within Salesforce, it's going to bring up this integration for me. It's going to do a couple things. What I'm going to do today is actually assemble a presentation from a template. So marketing has created this template. They say the slide goes first, these slides go last. I'm going to drag in the products, and this is going to dynamically create products. Uh, slides for us. Um, we know that John's interested in partnerships, so we'll go ahead and drag in that partnership slide. Hit the next step. We can put in some custom data. Let's uh, name the uh, presentation from John. Uh, we can set some great restrictions. We can expire how long people can view this presentation for. Uh, we can allow them to print it or share it with other people, and then we can track who he shares it with. Uh, I'll hit next here, and I get a preview of the presentation. So all my dynamic information is merged in. You get the animations. You get nice transitions. You've got uh, pricing information. You can pull that at salesforce.com. If this changes, it'll change for that presentation. So we've got a great presentation. We send it off to John. Now, once John views it in his browser, runs in the Flash Player, nothing to install, we come back and we actually get notification that John's viewed that presentation. So we see this invitation here. And at any point, we can go and recreate what it is that we sent to him. There's no more looking for that 30 meg PowerPoint file sitting on your hard drive. We can also get viewing statistics about John. So we see how long he spent on each slide, who he shared it with, what he looked at. So we're really excited about this integration with Salesforce.com. So let me jump back, finish up my presentation here. I'll jump back into full screen mode. 
So we're still in private beta, but we're happy to announce that uh, we signed the first enterprise customer with the Weather Channel. Weather Channel's really excited. They've got a, a, a giant sales force that's out on the road selling information that updates a lot. They needed a way to keep it all synchronized, at the same time show rich media like HD video, and of course make it snow on their slide. Uh, I've shown you a lot of stuff. There's a lot more. Uh, some of the stuff I haven't shown you is PowerPoint import and export, of course. Uh, slide Arbor works online and offline. Uh, we've got charting tools. We've got remote meetings, just like you do with WebEx. You can embed it in a browser, all those sorts of things. Uh, to wrap it up, uh, we're in private beta right now. We're looking for any kind of partners that you know could add to our ecosystem, content services, things like that. Uh, we just closed a Series A from Home Winglad a couple months ago, but we'll be looking for a Series B in the next few months, so we'd love to get on the radar for that. Thanks a lot. A, a free version that'll be for single users, and then we'll have paid versions that you know, upsell in different sort of functionality. Uh, you know, we're going to come in cheaper than than even WebEx comes. I mean, WebEx costs you 50 to 75 bucks a month per user, and that's just for doing you know what most people do, which is their PowerPoints and so on. And so we can do that integrated with SlideRocket. The single user, 24 bucks for per user for a, for a team version, and then 50 dollars a month for uh, sort of the businessy class with a discounted price. A lot of people, the first time they hear about the pricing, it's kind of like whoa, and then you sort of say, well, what are you paying for WebEx? And, and you know, what are you paying for Salesforce.com? You know, what are you paying for you know uh, all, all your other stuff? And, and, and then they realize what they're getting, and the fact that we're you know document management, we're, we're remote meetings, we're all these sorts of things. And, and, and all your assets, all your slides are shared in the library. You've got user level permissions and groups that you can set. So, you know, if my marketing guy has a, that slide, I want you to be able to edit it because he can set permissions, so I only have read permission on it. Therefore, I can use the slide in my presentation, but I can't change it. And most importantly, if he updates that slide, it updates for me. Stuff I'm really excited about is working on relationships with Forrester and Gartner and different providers so that you can take data from marketing forecasts and, and all those sorts of things that you pay lots of money for, stick them right into your table and chart, get them attributable and all those great things. And they're formatted and look nice. And then if you the template, the designer wants to say this is the color, this is the transition, this is the build, this is the font, you can do a you can upload your own fonts to slide around it. So we can run offline. Today we have the presentation offline uh, player, so you can actually present offline. And then you know, later this year, we'll have the ability to edit things. The traction we've got today with some media companies due to some relationships we used to have. You know, it's 100, 150 person sales team in large organizations. So we're not really looking to you know, replace PowerPoint on everyone's desktop just yet. And we were really looking to embrace the relationship with PowerPoint and, and you know, allow you to integrate. You know, so it's fine with us if you want to offer in PowerPoint and use all the advantages of the tools online. You know, we don't need to get everyone on board. I mean, there's 500 million. You know, office users out there, I'd be more than happy with 1% of that, you know. 